Hey everybody. So here we are again with this Samsung laptop. I just did a solid state drive upgrade on it. But there's something else that really needs attention and you can obviously see it. The LCD panel is not in good condition. You can see there's a lot of issues with it. Either this thing's been dropped or something else has caused this display to get into this kind of condition. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up and identify the screen. That way I can look up any um, part numbers and also just see if I happen to have a compatible replacement here on hand. It's not very likely but it's possible. That being said, let's go ahead and dig in. Okay, so I've unplugged everything from this laptop and I've also removed the battery. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up this lid here. And I believe we have, or maybe we don't. I'll say maybe we have hidden screws, but this might be a screwless lid. Alright, so I'm going to get my X-Acto knife. And we're going to try to see if this thing will pop open here. Yeah, so it actually just pops off and that plastic is a bit brittle. Alrighty, so we are in, and I'm telling you, there's so much stickiness on this thing. So in the previous video where I was working on this thing, um, I was inside the bottom of the machine, it was kind of sticky like something had been spilt in it, but I didn't notice any obvious damage to the motherboard or anything like that. But there's just a lot of stickiness in this thing. It's one of those things you just don't know about. But, at least we're in, and we do have some part numbers on our screen, which is nice. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out, and I'm going to see if I have any compatible replacements on hand. Because, of course, I pull these panels out of scrap laptops on a regular basis whenever I part out laptops. So sometimes I get lucky or my customer gets lucky and I happen to have one because when I do have one I always cut them a really good deal in that case. All right, that was relatively easy. <laughs> of course, Samsung display, which yeah, I would kind of expect in a Samsung laptop, but you'd be surprised sometimes. So, one thing I was wondering is whether this screen would have a uh, CCFL backlight or LED backlight. Those apparently two different versions of this screen. And with these laptops, it's like from experience, I can tell you that when you're replacing a screen in a laptop, a lot of times just looking up the model of the laptop alone is not sufficient because some laptops have had pretty long model runs. To where they would change things 
with the same model of laptop. But anyways, now we got this out, I'm gonna have a look at all my screens and see if I have anything that would fit in this thing. Okay everybody, so I ended up reinstalling the existing panel back into this laptop. And that's because the cost of a replacement panel for this laptop is $140. And to put it in perspective, normally I spend around $40 to $60 on replacement panels. So $140 for a laptop that is about 12 years old now is just, in my opinion, not worth spending the extra money. I mean, for what they've already spent on the SSD and the service for doing the SSD swap in, if they were to also pay for that uh, screen and the labor charge when you put it in, they may as well just go buy a whole new computer. And it's unfortunate because, I mean, this is a pretty decent machine other than that. Although it is up in age, but... Yeah, that's, that's kind of ridiculous. But anyways, you did get to see the process of removing the display. It's actually not that hard on this laptop. I mean, you peel off this, uh, you carefully pull off the um, trim, and there's, what, four screws in there. And you can take the panel out, and there's just that LVDS cable. Not too hard to change out, but it's just the cost of the replacement for this specific model is just insane. So, anyways, the rest of it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video from QCareer Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and tick the bell so you get notified of a new video I post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends to get the word out. In addition, I have a second YouTube channel, that's QCompMTDX. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.